Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, May 31st. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Real quick, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the price you see over here will be changing and the candlestick you see right there will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, PLTR, been tracking this one and we'll continue to track it as the uptrend remains higher highs and higher lows. So first I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these levels as they have served their purpose for now. And the first key dynamic and gotta like this one just because it's not complicated. So this is not an impressive skill on my part. This is not some sort of fancy discovery. The exact opposite. I assure you a whole bunch of people have drawn a line just like that up there at $15 and have noticed, well, the price has been up around $15 several times, both there and then this afternoon, it hasn't been able to quite break through it. So a lot of people, in other words, have noticed that $15 is the key level of resistance. And when you have lots of people watching the same levels and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movement. So while guarantees do not exist, is it plausible to think that if the price comes back up and actually breaks up through 15, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure? Absolutely. So if we want to call that, you know, a potential self-fulfilling prophecy type breakout at a 15, I would have no arguments against that. As far as areas of support are concerned, main level that stands out to me right here at this former breakout point, right down there around $14.20. So if this thing does decide to pull back some more, in my mind, 14.20 becomes a very interesting level. But the most interesting dynamic is right up there at that $15 mark. So we'll see if the price can turn around, get back up there and potentially get a nice self-fulfilling prophecy breakout. Next one, TTOO. And this is an interesting dynamic here as there's been a big move up and the price has pulled back. And now this afternoon, you can see that volume has really, really dropped off compared to what was going on earlier on in the day, which just brings up a question is, is it game over or is this just some low volume consolidation? And what makes this interesting here is at least the price has started to go sideways. Now, don't get me wrong, and I wish I could say trading was this easy. Just because volume has dropped off while the price goes sideways does not mean for sure guaranteed that this is the bottom and for sure guaranteed this thing is gonna head upwards. But is it at least plausible? Yes, it absolutely becomes a whole lot more plausible. Case in point, if the price was still just dropping, 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 and I'm sitting here saying, hey, it's looking like this could be some sort of bottom, you'd be completely justified to say, what are you talking about? Based on what? The price is literally still going straight down. But that's not the case here. It's at least started to go sideways, which makes for you know a pretty cut and dry level of support right there around the 13 cent mark. So it's really just a question of, do you believe that this thing has consolidated out and it's gonna get ready to curl back upwards? If it doesn't, that's why risk management and stop losses exist. But if it does, then you could be looking at a very nice scenario from what was being risked, then what would actually be given to you as a reward. Next one, ATTO. And let's go back to that whole talking topic of self-filling prophecies. And you gotta think that a ton of people have drawn that trot line right there. I'm just a, a very evident level right there. So I'm not gonna sit there and repeat myself. You get the idea. Am I saying there are guarantees? No, but is it plausible to think that if this thing curls itself around, comes back up to that level and then can get a break up through it, that that break could create additional buying pressure? That is certainly a plausible scenario. So from a self-filling prophecy kind of breakout area, definitely keep an eye on that trend line. If you like to play more so pullbacks, then an interesting pullback area right down there give or take around $2.45. And then I'll just quickly convert this into an overall pattern. So for you pattern players, we have our resistance, we have our support, we have the explosion right there. Let's put our golf hole on there to make it more visual. So we have ourselves a nice bull pennant pattern. So if you like to look at it more so from that angle of things, then you can look at it that way. But like I said, the moral of the story here is you gotta think that a lot of people have drawn that trend line. So let's see what happens with it. Next one, AI continues to just beast mode, talked about it on Friday. And you know, that's where these red and green lines are coming from. But actually after today, these levels seem completely irrelevant, which just shows how today, how powerful today's action was. So really what's going on right now is, all you can really talk about is that yet there's been another breakout right here, which is currently underway. So as far as playing that breakout, that has changed, but or that had that opportunity has already passed by. But the whole idea, the whole philosophy of a watch list is to find unique to find interesting situations and not randomly rush out and start buying stuff, but to watch it and see how it plays out. And in my opinion, at least, maybe you disagree and I can respect that. Uh, but in my opinion, when you have well-defined areas of resistance, which this level was now being broken and this break is happening on increasing volume. And as I speak, you can look over here and see volume continues to pour in. To me, that's an interesting situation. And you get to ask the always exciting question, are all these dynamics that I've talked about, are these all the start of something even bigger? 
Is this breakout just getting started? Is there going to be more momentum coming? Maybe there's not, but again, that's a two-sided two coin because maybe there is, and that's what these dynamics are all suggesting could potentially be the case and why it's a watch list. Not a randomly rush out and start buying stuff list, but a watch list. So if this sort of dynamics catches your eye, then definitely keep an eye on it for uh, Wednesday. Next one here, AMC, and another rough day, although to give some credit where credit's due, nice upwards channel here has formed during the latter part of the day. But if you ask yourself what was going on before this upwards channel, there's this big drop right here. So actually, all I've drawn is a bull, or excuse me, a bear flag pattern. Now, don't get me wrong. Just because something's bearish doesn't mean the price is for sure going to go downwards. Just like because something's a bullish pattern. So think earlier, we had a bull pennant pattern. That doesn't mean that that stock's going to automatically go up. Because just because something's bullish does not mean automatic up. Just like something's bearish does not mean automatic down. But I'm just trying to get across the fact that, yeah, it's a bounce this afternoon. But within the bigger context of things, there is a bear flag pattern. And it's good to see that the price is at least back up to this 465-ish area. But this is where the first update comes into play. And this is just based on a rule that states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. And so it makes sense now why the price, after breaking down below that level, you can see it behaved as resistance there, behaved as resistance there. And right now, as I speak, you can see the price is struggling right around this 465 area. So keep an eye on that. I'll go ahead and get rid of that level. If the price can push up through that level, the next key area of resistance, not that far off, is going to be that purple line there, the 50 period moving average currently valued at $4.71. In terms of levels of support, nothing fancy here, just the question of where did the bleeding finally stop today? And that was down there at $4.50. So keep an eye on that if the price does decide to roll back over. But yeah, good solid bounce this afternoon, but is it just simply a dead cap bounce where this bear flag is going to get continuation to the downside? We'll see what Wednesday has to offer. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering here in a couple of days. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the web page you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then certainly get signed up for the free live class. Next one here, ETRN, and we have ourselves another potential self-filling prophecy. Again, me drawing this line is not supposed to impress you. $8.35 is a level that you gotta think a lot of people have drawn. And then you do have this nice little dynamic here where the price got a slight little upwards trend to it. So it really just brings up the question is, can this thing continue to trend upwards that eventually get a break up through that level? And will that break produce, you know, self-filling prophecy type breakouts? That's always an interesting dynamic, which as you now know, is a whole idea of watch list. So it's pretty straightforward on this one. Big move up, bigger pullback, but now at least the price got a little upward slope to it. So can this upward slope, upwards uptrend here, create a, a nice breakout of $8.35. Let's see what happens. Next one here, WLDS. I'm gonna go through it very quickly because you've already heard me say these things over and over again. So let's get, let's just call it the self-filling prophecy line in place. I mean, check it out. Beautiful trend line. Gotta think a bun bunch of people are watching it. At the same time, we have this other trend line that's doing a good job of kind of illustrating out the downwards channel that has been formed. So let me change that to green to represent more of the support part of the pattern. And then yes, as of now, there is a downwards channel. But as we have to ask ourselves, well, what was happening before this downwards channel? Well, you had this huge upwards move like that, which has now given us the ability to draw a bull flag pattern. So if you like stocks down below $5, you like bull flag patterns, keep an eye on it. Next one here, TSLA Tesla. And Tesla, after a, a pretty rough pullback there on Friday, recovered nicely, got the break. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these levels. And I'm, I'm not gonna call it a glaringly, I don't know. I, let me know, is, is this glaringly obvious to you? Yeah, I think that I think a lot of people have probably drawn that trend. I don't know. Like I said, let me know in the comment section. Is this trend line here? Is that glaringly obvious to you? But anyways, I, I think a lot of people probably have drawn that level. Uh, but nonetheless, whether or not it's glaringly obvious, it apparently is a level of resistance. So keep an eye on that, which keeps the near term breakout point right around the $202. If the price can push up through there, the next level, nothing fancy, just simply where did the party stop today? And that was up there at basically 204.50. So let me do this. Let's since we we'll change up these a little bit just to help hopefully make them stand out a bit. So there we go. So a couple different levels of resistance right there. And then as far as supports are concerned, pretty straightforward, I would say. You can see that the price has gotten down around this previous breakout point around 197.50. So right there, 197 was a resistance, resistance, and then a classic example now of that area of resistance now behaving as support and then support right there. So if there is a pullback, then I definitely keep an eye on that dynamic. But Tesla has been on a tear and, um, you know, until proven, you know, innocent it's, it's been guilty of just completely continuing to beast mode every single day so we'll see if that continues moving forward next one sofi very very impressive move although right now 
a little scary, in my opinion, at least to be, you know, buying up around this area. It's gotten, you know, such a, a big move. So there does seem to be a, a bit, you know, of a component of being overextended. And now you're getting these candles here with these upper shadows on them. So like I said, me personally, I'd be kind of scared to be buying up around here. So I'm going to take more of an angle of potential pullback areas. First key level of potential pullback right here at that 595 mark, which is the breakout point from earlier on. But if that, if that seems still too much like a, not a deep enough pullback, the another area that I could see, you know, making sense more so would then be down around the $5 and 80 cent mark. Um, so a couple different angles from there in terms of maybe you do still like to buy up there and you're curious, well, where were the next areas of resistance be? Next key level to watch moving forward gonna be right up there around six dollars and twenty cents. Like I said, do with it what you will. Maybe some of you are saying, "Well, Clay, stop being so dramatic. That thing's not too overextended." And fair enough. Uh, but like I said, in my mind, it seems to be uh, some sort of pullback may be needed. So if you like pullbacks, certainly keep an eye on it. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the Nasdaq. So if the Nasdaq market goes up on the day, this one will also go up. So it makes sense why this one had uh, overall higher highs and higher lows. A bit of a pullback here, but overall things are just fine. So let me uh, let me first take a step back. What do I mean by what do I mean by overall? Well, if you're some sort of day trader, flipper, scalper, whatever you want to call yourself, and you bought right there, and your plan was to buy and sell within 10 minutes, well, then from that perspective, the chart actually looks really, really bad for you. But assuming you do care about the overall standpoint, then everything is still perfectly fine. In fact, this level right here was a former area of resistance. So as the rule states, when levels of resistance are broken, closed above. You want to see them act as support. So while I'm not saying this is what's going to occur, let's say the price pulls back. In fact, let's just do this to really illustrate the point. Let's say the price actually pulls back to $34. I mean, what would you still have? Again, emphasis on overall. If the price came down there and bounced around, well, you'd sell a set of lows there. You'd have lows there. You'd have lows there. You'd have lows. You get the idea. Lows there. Lows there. And you envision each. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, then from the big picture, you'd still very clearly have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction, and that's the name of the game. So I mean. Overall, the, you know everything is still perfectly fine, even with a pullback here today. Once more, I understand if you're a day trader and you bought at the high right there, then yes, this move here feels like the end of the world. But assuming you do care about the big picture point of view, as we're seeing, everything is still perfectly fine. So I'll zoom back in here. Now, I will say that the more so near-term level of support is right down there around that area at 35. But my point here is that it could pull back even more and you'd still be just fine in terms of levels of resistance. Get a little tread line in play there. You got to think a lot of people are probably watching that. So yes, once again, there is probably that component of potential self-fulfilling prophecy nature to it. So that wraps up the top 10 list. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the class. It'll be very soon, Thursday, June 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So definitely go and get signed up for it. If you're watching on YouTube, again, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching on my site, there's an area right there on the webpage you can click to get signed up. If you enjoy these top 10 lists, please do two things for me. Hit that like button, leave a comment below. Those two things help out the channel. They help out me knowing that you enjoy these videos. And as long as I know people are enjoying these types of top 10 videos, I will continue to do them. So like I said, hitting the like button and leaving a comment goes along way and definitely go get signed up for that free live class.